What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm going to be taking on Hector and Matthew's Bounty Hero Battle and I'll be giving you guys 3 Infernal Solutions with free to play units and absolutely no skill intents and also give you guys a Lunatic Solution and at the end I'll try to summon on the Bounty Hero Battle banner for Hector. So let's begin and this is going to be my first team of uh, free to play units and no Dancer. So I've got Fee Arm, uh, make sure you give her Cooker Post 2 Sacred Seal at the very least. Um, version 3 is not really necessary, uh, version 2 can work. And then I've got Arvis with his vanilla skill set. And if you have any kind of trouble with Cricker Post 2, then you can just give your Arvis Spur Defense or Drive Defense and that should definitely fix uh, the problem on Fiarm. And then I've got Lissa for healing up Fiarm and Selina with Reposition. Now because this team does not have a Dancer, I need some kind of uh, movement as a skill like reposition so I'm using Selena and she's also really bulky for taking on this Hector on this map who has got both fighter and bonfire and she also has armor slayer so she's the perfect unit for this bounty battle so let's begin I was actually expecting this bounty battle to be much much harder and here we have got Matthew I really hope they can give him some kind of legendary dagger like Layla's dagger I would love that and he desperately needs the help so we'll swap the positions of our units um, so you want to put your Alyssa and Selena over here and you need to defense ploy this Matthew so that he can do more damage with your fee arm it is necessary if you want to take out Matthew at a later turn with said. Arvis of course fee arm absolutely destroys this map um, this map has got a lot of range units, so she can take care of them pretty easily and these armor units are not really all that big of a problem. I guess Hector can be a problem if your red unit is not really all that bulky. So here comes this green cavalier. Uh, we'll just have the arm over here healed up. And these other units are going to be stuck farming that L. And here comes Hector. Yes. Okay. What's your gift? And this red mage is going to be breaking that obstacle because we moved with our units over here. Orders, and please. I'm going to be sending off my the arm here so that she does not get attacked by Matthew and this red mage at the same time. Yeah. Of course. I forgot to mention that if your Selena is minus HP or minus defense then she will not be able to survive this. You will need to make sure that you have got some kind of secret seal to help you with that. And like I said, if you're having trouble with Crooker Post 2, then just have Drive Defense or Spur Defense on Arvis when you face against Matthew. Down goes this Hector. And these units are not threatening at all. So we can take out Matthew here, thanks to the extra damage we did with defense ploy. Now a lot of you guys have been requesting me um, to make solutions that do not include a dancer like Olivia. Um, so that's why I'm going to be starting to do that if it's possible. For like a lot of the legendary hero battles, it's so impossible to have a solution without a dancer because you're going to be having um, so much pressure to deal with. Like to keep up with the pressure with free to play units, you have to rely on dancer to help you out, uh, which is Olivia in all cases uh, for any sort of free to play guide. So let's use AoE special and nuke Oswin. Hopefully they can add him soon. Now that armor units are completely broken, I'm pretty sure he's going to be insane. So let's move on to our second infernal solution. So this solution includes Groom Marth and Legendary Ike. This is for the people who have foddered off their fee arm. And I've got Legendary Ike here. You just need to give him Cook Repose 2 and he should be fine. And then I've got Groom Marth. You need to give him Spur Attack 1. And he has got S rank support with Shida. Um, Bright Shida to be specific. And he's not going to be on this battle so it doesn't really matter. And then I've got Clarice and Olivia at last. So that's going to be my team. Legendary Ike is pretty good as well on this map. Cannot really take care of the range units to that extent, but still, he's very powerful. 
let's move to happiness. So we'll just have Marth and Ike over here. Now, you need the spur attack support from Marth to make sure that you one-run kill Matthew. What next? If only. So I'm gonna be using rally speed and defense, and gonna be putting Clarice over here. So Hector is going to be attacking me, and he's going to go down. He's going to get one round killed. You definitely need Spur Attack for that. And Matthew is also going to go down. And here, uh, we can just retreat with Rumarth and have him over here. And I can take on this Green Cavalier pretty easily. He does not really have any sort of threatening skill other than Speed Ploy, I guess, which can be annoying, but he's just so slow. That's probably not going to be coming into the play all that much. And by pivoting here, this uh, red mage has basically played himself. So I'm going to be attacking this Lance Flyer, finishing him off with Marth. And now he's going to die a painful death by the hands of Clarice. Clarice is a sadist like that. He's definitely going to be doing that. But Marth, yeah, probably not. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking out this red mage with Clarice. What next? And now uh, we just have to take care of this Lance Armor unit and it is going to be a very slow process because sure. um, <laughs> okay. because I'll have to use Poison Strike. So I'm going to be speeding this up and enjoy the Sarah music. <laughs> So that is going to be it, as Ike is going to be taking out Oswin. Um, he actually needs the drive attack support from Marth to do this. So let's finish him off, and that is going to be my second infernal solution. There's no stopping me. My third infernal solution includes Black Knight. It's been a while since I've used him for a free-to-play solution, and this is once again for the people who have fodered off their legendary Ike. Um, so I've got Black Knight here with his Kamuli Vanilla skill set. He has got a strength support with Amelia, um, one of my armor emblem teams. And then I've got Fear Arm. You just need to give her a quick repost, Sacred Seal. And uh, quick repost, one should do it. And then I've got uh, Olivia and Clarice with their vanilla skill set. So let's begin. And uh, I'm going to be abusing Wings of Mercy with Black Knight quite a lot, as you guys will see. So you basically need quick repost, one, to deal with Matthew on the first turn, basically. And that is pretty much it. You do not really need Quick Repose 2 or 3. Yeah, so he's going to be knocking me out of the Quick Repose range. Going to be putting me at really low health. And here, I'm going to be retreating with my Clarice and all of my units. You need to put your Black Knight over there to bait out the enemies. And here comes this Green Cavalier. Now, I'm going to be using my Olivia to take this hit. Like, this guy's not really very fast, and okay. he's not going to be able to double my Olivia. I need to do this so that I can proc Wings of Mercy with my Black Knight um, for Olivia. Like this. And okay. I'll just have, actually, yeah, right. I'll just have Clarice over here. Now this Hector does have Bullfighter, you're going to be eating up a Bonfire either way, unless you've got Guard, I guess. So let's take him out. All right, so down he goes, and uh, we'll just have Clarice over here and Olivia over here as well. Now this, uh, this Red Mage is going to be coming over here. Matthew is going to be set free because he's going to destroy this obstacle, and he's going to go down to Fiarm. And now... Um, Orders, okay. I will have to put Fiorm over here because we do not want her to get attacked by this Lance Flyer and I do not want Oswin to Understood. hurt her as well. Okay. So I'll just have Clarice, Black Knight over here. Yeah, so he does 7 damage but because of my special, I'm going to be taking 0 damage and that's going to help me a lot. Yes. So I'll just have Onward. Black Knight with Wings of Mercy to finish off this mage and because of the threatened defense debuff, we're going to be sure. able to take him out with the help of Poison Strike damage. Right. So that is going to be nice. Fine. And we only have Oswin left. Okay. 
And once again, <laughs> I'll be using the Sarah music because this will take a while. Alright, so that is gonna be it and now my Fiarm can just come in and finish off this Lance Knight and that is gonna be my third Infernal Solution. Alright, and before I start with my Lunatic Solution, I'll just like to get my free summon done on this banner. Um, I really want to get more Hectors. Oh my god, three green stones, that is amazing. I will spend some Arps on these green stones because it's too good to pass up. And I'm gonna be getting Frederick, okay. Come on, give me that Hector. So on my free summon, I got a uh, Frederick, which is fine, he does have Luna. And it's just gonna be a three star. Nino, okay. I've been looking for a <laughs> neutral Ivy Nino for the longest time because I do use her in my guides. Come on, Hector. Hector on my first batch would be amazing. Okay, another Nino. Oh my god. I'll actually summon on the... Um, on the... Colorless Stone. Because I wouldn't mind getting Sarah. Or Matthew, actually. A lot of people were thinking uh, Lin would be on this banner, but... Sarah makes more sense. And I cannot miss this red stone because that will increase my pity rate. And I might just get my Eldigan here. If I'm lucky. Um, if that happens, that would be insane. Okay, of course not. It's too good to be true. It is gonna be Olivia. So that was my summoning circle, I guess. Let's go back. And let's move on to Lunatic Difficulty. So I'm gonna be using this team for the Lunatic Difficulty. And I've got Narcy in here with his vanilla skill set. Clarice. And Fion with Quick Repose Sacred Seal and Arvis. And we do not have any sort of dancer, so let's begin. Of course. Here we do not have that green mage cavalier. And he was not really all that big of a problem to begin with, so he's fine, I guess. Very well. Fine. Out with it. So we're gonna defense ploy Matthew, as always. Alright. So here comes this red mage. I'll just have Clarice over here. And now I can just attack this red mage with my key arm okay. and take her out. What's your gambit? Very well. Matthew actually hits pretty hard on Infernal Difficulty, and I'm gonna be surviving with one HP, uh, which is definitely a close call. Fine. Of course. Sure. And then I'll just use my Narcian. And here I'm gonna be charging up my special yes, to yes. take out okay. Hector. Even on Lunar's difficulty, he does have 72 HP, which is actually quite a lot. And now my AoE special is ready, so we're gonna be nuking Hector. And uh, let's turn on the animation for this last hit. And What's let's end game? this. So those were my Lunatic and Infernal Solutions. If you have any sort of trouble, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try my best to help you. And before I end this off, I just want to summon more on this banner for Hector. Um... All of these orbs which I've got are free to play orbs. Okay, one green stone and one colorless. I'm still gonna be going for this. Um, if I can get Hector, that would be amazing. There's that smoke. And it is gonna be Sheena. Oh my god, her silhouette. Ah. Okay. Colorless stone. If I get a plus attack Matthew, that would be also pretty nice. 
And Sarah has got Recover plus. So if I get her, that's a bonus. Uh, because I could definitely use that for fodder. And... So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Pyro Mom Heroes content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great day.